and welcome to Beauty Busters, pew, 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 where we test out internet beauty and products to see if they're poop, a whoop, or maybe baby, meaning they may work for some people and they may not work for other people. I'm so excited for this Beauty Busters, woo! If you enjoy Beauty Busters, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. I get a lot of requests for Beauty Busters, but I almost never know what to do. So if there's anything, any type of product or really cool gadget or hack that you guys want me to test out, either comment below or tweet me at Natalie's Outlet or Instagram me, either one, I would love to know. All right guys, so I just launched my first project outside of YouTube, hashtag viral, my podcast. Oh my God, you guys honestly have been so supported. We topped charts number one on Apple Podcasts. I'm like, this is so excited. Thank you guys so much for all the love, for all the support. I'm gonna be interviewing your favorite creators, celebrities, interviewing them on how they've built a business around doing what you're watching right now. This, a video. So make sure you go subscribe right now to become hashtag viral. I'm gonna leave the link down below and the first episode was Alicia Marie, one of my favorites. So if you wanna check it out, everything will be down below. And if you don't have an iPhone, no worries. We're also available on Spotify and Google Play. So definitely check out those links will be down below. Show your love and support. And if you definitely enjoy it, please leave me a review letting me know what you think. Also, I'm so curious to know since I will be interviewing some of the top digital creators and celebrities, I wanna know who do you wanna see next? Comment below so that we can get them on hashtag viral. Hold up today. Today is an exciting day because I am announcing the winner for the YouTube starter pack. Look at this, guys. This is going home to one of you. Are you ready to hear who the winner is? Drum roll, please. And the winner is Kaylee Stingler. Woo! Congratulations, girl. Thank you so much for loving and supporting this channel. But if you did not win, no worries. The next giveaway will be announced in the next video. I challenge you guys to get this video to 250,000 thumbs up because you never know, I might even give away something better in the next video. I dare you guys to turn this to this by clicking below and hitting that thumbs up. I wanna give a huge shout out to Paige for watching my videos. Thank you so much, virtual hug. So if you want a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is become a part of the Notification Squad. So how do you become a part of the Notification Squad? Super easy, just make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications by clicking on that little bell right there. You see it? Click it. Yeah. And once you do those two things, just comment below hashtag Notification Squad and I will be choosing one of you. That's it, it's that easy. Also, don't forget I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I love you guys so much. I'm always interacting with you guys on Twitter and Instagram, so stay tuned for more updates on something very special happening on there. Let's get on into the video. So I was walking by the counters at CVS and I saw all of these really weird like little goodies, like actually weird things that I haven't seen before. And I'm like, okay, these could be lifesavers. Lifesavers? So the first one is the deodorant removing sponge. It claims to be a sponge that removes deodorant from black shirts. How many of you guys struggle with putting on your deodorant, taking off your shirt, putting it back on, and then it's like, it's all over the place. It's not cute. The packaging mentions that no water is required, which seems pretty amazing. I'm curious if there's a scent to this. It says, remove deodorant marks, pet hair, makeup powder, dirt, dust, lint, and road salt. We're gonna check it out, see what it feels like. Oh, it smells nice. It's a sponge just like this. It is a little bit of a thicker sponge. It doesn't feel like a dish sponge at all. It's actually kind of nice and therapeutic. I guess since it claims that it removes dog hairs, I'm gonna go and hug my dog. I actually have a beautiful golden retriever right here. And as you may know, golden retrievers shed like crazy. I happen to have some hairs, zoom in. There's always hairs on me. Oh my God, but I love my dog. All right, we got a hair rod there. Okay. It works kind of like a lint roller. The only thing I'm seeing is that it's just taking the hairs to another side as opposed to picking them up. Oh, I see a hair stuck on there. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's actually not bad. Okay. It smells bad. Okay, no, this is working. I like this. Look at all that little lint and stuff. Beautiful, honey, beautiful. Ooh. Okay, clearly with the pet hair, it was pretty good. I wouldn't say like, I don't know, I kind of prefer just a lint roller. This works pretty fine. But I'm really curious when it comes to deodorant marks. So I have a black shirt right here, full of deodorant marks, and we're gonna test it out to see if this is a poop, a whoop, or a maybe baby. Meaning it may work for some people and it may not work for other people. All right, so Dennis, I asked him to go put on a shirt, put on some deodorant, and then take the black shirt off. Your deodorant. My deodorant, but I would never, like this is over the top. Oh my God, you guys, I'm sorry you have to witness this nastiness. What on earth? This is over the top. Because it is over the top, we're gonna test it out just to see if it really does work. Okay, ready? This is just too much. We're gonna test it out. <laughs> All right, so I'm wearing my YouTube shirt and uh, look at that. Uh, this is a reality. The realness of what happens when you put on a black shirt. So we're gonna test this out. 
let me see if there's actually any instructions. So you don't have to wet this. Briskly rub residue from your clothing with Hollywood deodorant removing sponge. No need to use water. Here we go. So it's removing. How hard do you have to press is the question. Cause you know, I usually just grab a makeup removing wipe and I just kind of pat it down and then it'll just get dry. So it's not too wet. And that usually works just fine. Mm. I still would not go out like this. What do you think, handsome? I think it did not do the job. I say this is a poop. I could do the same thing with just water and a tissue. You can probably rub it with your hand. Sorry guys, you let me know down below what you guys think. Don't forget, new episodes drop every single Friday and stick to the end to see a little clue on who the next guest may be. All right, for those of you that wear heels, how many of you can relate to your heels getting stuck on grass? It is terrible, you literally sink. This is the most uncomfortable thing ever. But I came across this Soulmate High Healer Heel Protector, which pretty much is clear, but it prevents your heels from sinking into the grass, which is genius. Oh my gosh. So the directions for you say to twist the product onto your heels so that the word Soulmate's face is back. I guess they want to do some free promotion there. They also recommend using this if you're going to be walking on bricks, on grates, antique floors, woven carpets, wooden decks. We shall see. So the packaging is really cute. They showcase on grass, you know, what could happen. So when you pop these out, they look kind of like ice cubes, little ice cubes like that. They're very firm and actually pretty nice quality. One concern that actually Dennis brought up is that what if this damages the heel or scrapes the heel? What if you're wearing some really expensive heels and then you're putting that in and it happens to scrape it? It does have little ridges on the side like that. It can be a little concerning for a shoe lover, but let's test them out. This is how you're supposed to apply it on. Do I want to use these shoes? These are nice. Okay. No, it didn't scratch. Okay. That looks really ugly. But I do have to say, you know, if you're on the grass, if you have like a longer dress, I know for my sister's wedding, I was literally sinking on the grass. So this would have helped a lot. Who cares? I mean, no, actually I care. I care if it's stylish or not. When it's a matter of grass sinking or not grass sinking, I'd rather not sink. So let's try them out. tested this out and without the heel, it was me trampling all over, falling, sinking. It just wasn't good. It's pretty much what you guys experience if you go on grass when you're wearing really pointy heels. Now, with the actual device, I think it was amazing. I wasn't sinking, I could run, I could play with my dog. However, I don't understand. Plus, there's a little chip right here that I believe was not there before. So what I will say is this is amazing. If you're just gonna walk, don't run like I was running. I think that's what might've happened. And just be aware that this may damage your shoes, especially if they're really good shoes. Yeah, just be careful. Don't use this on really expensive shoes, but this is great. Like if you're gonna go to a barbecue, you're gonna wear some shoes. I don't know why you would wear heels at a barbecue, but maybe you do you. I would have loved to have this on my sister's wedding because I was literally sinking all over the place. So I say this is a maybe baby. It's at your own caution. I would definitely try this out again, just not with these type of shoes. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Is it just me or did this one bend? Oh my God. So this product, when I saw it, I was like, this might be for me because my hair, I swear to you, I wash it and then the next day it's just like a grease ball. It's like dripping. But my hair tends to get really oily really quickly. So when I saw this, I was like, this is amazing. This is a dry shampoo pen, which is amazing. Like, can you imagine just taking this around on your little purse, taking it out, spraying it on without having to take a huge dry shampoo can. I've never seen anything like this. This says, it instantly refreshes and boosts body in all hair types. So pretty much it's just a little dry shampoo, a little travel size bad baby stand for real women mmm smells delicious this says that it has no parabens or no sulfites which is amazing for hair I know my hair started to grow literally when I got that all out oh what? this nozzle a little antique looking looks kind of scary with this right here I don't know just be sure you guys that when you use something like this an aerosol can you are not close to fire to a candle to anything and I mean that in all seriousness oh it smells old. Mm, I don't know. It smells like cheap and like kind of old. I wonder if it turns white. Oh, look at that. It's like translucent. It smells better on the hair. Ooh. 
volume. Look at that. Check out this side, and now I'm gonna volumize it. This is nice. All right, you guys, I feel like I have more volume. It's cute. The smell, like I said, not 100% my favorite, but it doesn't bother me. If I'm really in a hurry and all I need is my hair to look decent, I won't care about the smell. It's not terrible. It doesn't smell expensive. But check it out, it worked. I actually really like this. I'm definitely gonna put this in my purse, take it anywhere I go. Don't use it on fire. This is a total whoop. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. So yesterday I was just like cruising CVS or maybe Walgreens, I don't recall. But I saw this and my jaw literally dropped. Do you see this? This is a gigantic beauty blender. Literally says oversized blending sponge, not made with nat, okay, whatever. The point edge is ideal for detailed precision. Basically, this is amazing for foundation, tanning lotion, body bronzers to cover all areas of your body. So it's actually quite nice. You know, you don't have to just use this on your face. You can use this if you can, or maybe for just a little bit of contour. Directions, use dry sponge for normal coverage. Use slightly moistened sponge for sheer coverage. Oh, nice. So you could actually use this dry. Ow. Gigantic. Gigantic. Ooh. Gigantic. Gigantic. If I had another beauty blender, a typical beauty blender is probably like this size. This is humongous. If we do wet it, it's gonna be so large. It's as big as my palm. I'm actually gonna use this as a little bronzer. I'm gonna go like this, bronze it up. I think that would be ideal for this because I've realized that my bronzer always looks best when I have a large brush. Love this bronzer. You can fake people that you've gone to the beach, the pool, but you've really just been a vampire in your room watching Netflix. Mm. Ooh, I like it. I like that it's black because then you don't really see if it's dirty. I'm all about that stuff, guys. I prefer to use a brush rather than something like this when I apply my bronzer, but I think this is ideal for someone that tans and you just wanna get all of that all over the place. I like it though. Look, it's not even that bad. I look beautiful. Yeah, you look beautiful. <laughs> I say this is a whoop. I really like this. I think the fact that it's like really gigantic is amazing. It looks just like a sponge. It's nice and soft. It's not too hard, so it's nice and you know compact. Feels like a good, decent beauty blender, even though it's not even a beauty blender, so it's pretty cheap. Get at your local CVS or Walgreens. So the clue for the next viral guest is slime. Comment below if you know who that is. Whoa, is that new? Make sure you go and subscribe to my new podcast, hashtag viral. New episodes drop every single Friday. Don't forget, our last interview was with Alicia Marie, so make sure you go and give it some love. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out my last video right over here by clicking on it. And subscribe to my face right over here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I want to wish you guys an amazing day. Don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye!